from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Anglo-American Platinum handed over 270 hectares of land, worth about 26 million rand, to the Rosenberg Local Municipality and the Rosenberg Alchemy Development Trust to support government's commitment to sustainable land reform and transformation. Nadine James tells us more. The handover took place on February 16th. Members of the community and pledge executives and several local, provincial and national government officials attended. Parent company Anglo Platinum noted that the handover, which followed Amplat's release of 204 hectares of land in 2014, further demonstrated the group's commitment to South Africa's transformational journey. Amplat CEO Chris Griffiths went on to describe the importance of the handover. He also explained how Amplat's initiative could positively impact on the socio-economic development of the mine affected communities. This is in recognition of the imperative for us as a company to play a role in advancing sustainable transformation and land reform. Allow me to sketch out Anglo-American Platinum's contribution and what that will mean for the people of Rustenburg. Over 242 hectares of land will be handed over to the people of Rustenburg to complete housing and resettlement projects for the people of this great community. Key housing and resettlement projects that the mayor told us about will be supported through this. And that's the resettlement of the, resi the residents of Chakalaza 14 and plot, four and plot 14 informal settlements. It will also allow the formalization of Popo Malefi and the Mbeki Sun informal settlements. And that will allow residents to have security of tenure and access to suitable service delivery. The second piece of land will be handed over to the Rustenburg Community Development Trust and they'll receive over 27 hectares of land for which they'll be able to construct a care centre for approximately 155 people. This centre will provide care for the disabled, the elderly, orphans and child-headed families in the community. We're also proud of our partnership with the Rustenburg Local Municipality and the provincial government of the Northwest. Through this partnership, we donated 204 hectares of land in 2014 at Bokomoso. But today we'll be handing over the investment that we've subsequently made in the bulk infrastructure of more than 140 million rand by constructing a wastewater treatment project and to also the TARD, the internal roads in Bokomoso. As a result of this donation and the provision of bulk infrastructure, the Department of Human Settlements are now able to build 4,000 houses on that service land. Mineral Resources Minister Gwede Mantashe explained how the handover tied into government's commitment to responsibly repatriate land to the historically disadvantaged. It is indeed an honor for me to address uh, you this morning in this event. As government, we have uh, made a commitment to South Africans that we are going to handle the issue of land responsibly with the necessary regard of all institutional, legal and policy considerations. Our approach to land reform is guided by the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. And the need to promote economic development, agricultural production, uh, food security, among others, and shelter for the people. It is for this reason that President Ramaphosa has put together the Presidential Expert Advisory Panel on Land Reform and Agriculture, which will outline the outcomes of its work in due course. Mantasha emphasized that despite the narrative around land expropriation, the Amplats handover demonstrated that the process could be peaceful. They say Anglo is donating. Anglo is doing this. I want to use a different term. Anglo is returning parcels of land to the people of Rastinburg. Yes. Now, why is that distinction important? Is that it is that voluntary retaining of land that emphasizes the point that 
there is no need to grab it. Uh, because it is given to you, it is handed back, you must use it uh, economically and properly. So there is no need to go and grab land. Clifford Slee iterated that the company's commitment to South Africa and its citizens is ongoing. We are a company whose hearts have been rooted in South Africa for over 102 years. And we continue to work in partnership with government and local communities to contribute to solving our country's most significant challenges. And land reform is just one of those. That's Creo Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.